Hi students, in today's class I am going to explain about how chlorine obtained in laboratory process and how it is going to be reacting with the diluted cold NaOH, hot and concentrated NaOH and then after how it is going to be reacting with the excess of ammonia, after that how it is going to be reacting with the potassium iodide or sodium iodide this is the most important question for um, ip exams so that uh, just try to learn i am going to explain in simple way and then we can start our question um, first you can take laboratory preparation method laboratory preparation preparation of Cl2 nothing but chlorine gas okay here you need to write two reactions first one is manganese dioxide on heating with concentrated hydrochloric acid so you can take that one here MnO2 is the manganese dioxide on heating with on heating with concentrated hydrochloric acid see con c o n con means concentrated hcl then it will gives cl2 gas and some byproducts also you can see that reaction you need to take one mole of manganese dioxide reacting with 4 moles of hydrochloric acid then what will you get see manganese dichloride and cl2 gas the remaining will be water 2 moles of water will be formed because here we have taken 4 moles of hydrochloric acid so 4 hydrogens 4 hydrogens 2 oxygens 2 oxygens 4 chlorine atoms see here also 4 chlorine atoms 1 manganese atom there also 1 manganese this is the first preparation method then you can see second preparation method second preparation method the same manganese dioxide MnO2 on reaction with on reaction with mixture of see mixture of mixture of NaCl and concentrated sulfuric acid is the H2SO4 don't be confused here concentrated H2SO4 to give chlorine gas Cl2 gas see how this reaction is going to be takes place MnO2 one mole you should take this will react with 4 moles of NaCl and 4 moles of sulfuric acid. This is the concentrated one. Just remember concentrated H2SO4. Then what are the products here? Here also same. Manganese dichloride MnCl2 will form. Then see here also Na 4 moles. NaHSO4 will form and then water molecule. How many water molecules you can see here? 8 hydrogens. So, out of 8 hydrogens, 4 hydrogens went out in the form of sodium bisulfate. So, remaining 4 hydrogens. So, that 2 water molecules. Then you can coming to here and there. See here. 1 manganese went out as in the form of MnCl2. Remaining 2 chlorines are there so that Cl2 gas. The remaining one is the Cl2 gas. These are the 2 preparation methods for the chlorine. Laboratory preparation methods. Then you can see how it is going to be reacting with the, um, cold and diluted NaOH and um, hot and concentrated NaOH then after excess of ammonia after that uh, potassium iodide. So now you can take first reaction cold and diluted NaOH Cl2 
on reaction with on reaction with cold and diluted NaOH will form NaCl and NaCl NaOCl see NaCl NaOCl and water see uh, how this reaction going to take place two moles sodium chloride um, I mean uh, here NaOH you can take two moles of NaOH reacting with one mole of Cl2 gas okay then products will be one mole of NaCl plus one mole of NaOCl plus one mole of water these are your products one mole of water see sodium hydroxide this is the cold and diluted cold and diluted remember okay uh, next in the same step only you need to take hot and concentrated see Cl2 on reaction with on reaction with hot and concentrated NaOH hot and concentrated NaOH will form will form NaClO3 see listen NaOCl is the sodium chloride see this is the sodium chloride this is the sodium chloride this is the sodium chlorate sodium chlorate sodium chlorate don't be confused here okay uh, along with NaCl water also in this step will form so you can see how this reaction going to takes place here you need to take three moles of chlorine gas reacting with the six moles of NaOH here also you need to write uh, uh, just like before cold and diluted there you have wrote here you need to write hot and concentrated because of uh, less space i am not going to write here so you should write okay then it is going it will form see five moles of sodium chloride and one mole of naclo3 sodium chlorate okay uh, next one how many what uh, hydrogens are here six hydrogen so that you will get three water molecules so now it is the balanced chemical reaction and uh, these two reactions about how uh, diluted and concentrated NaOH reacting with chlorine gas if you want you can take screenshot we will move to how it is going to be reacting with the excess of NH3 and potassium iodide first reaction was completed that is uh, how chlorine reacts with uh, um, cold and diluted NaOH hot and concentrated NaOH now going to reaction uh, chlorine reaction with excess of ammonia sim chlorine on reaction with excess of ammonia will form will form ammonium chloride ammonium chloride and nitrogen nitrogen gas how this reaction going to happen see here you need to take six, 8 moles of ammonia reacting with 3 moles of chlorine then you will get 6 moles of ammonium chloride see this one is the ammonium chloride remaining will be 2 nitrogen atoms so that those 2 nitrogen atoms form forms N2 gas 
see this is about how it is going to be reacting with uh, excess of ammonia then you can see about uh, how it is going to be reacting with the potassium iodide or sodium iodide here chlorine going to be oxidized potassium iodide or sodium iodide you can see cl2 oxidizes ki or nai into i2 i2 c listen how this reaction uh, will happens cl2 reacts with two moles of ki then you will get two moles of kcl and i2 gas is it oxidizing reaction once try to check it once here if you can see potassium iodide potassium um, uh, oxidation state will be plus 1 iodine's oxidation state will be minus 1 so this minus 1 converts into zero because in i2 iodine's oxidation state will be zero that is the reason minus 1 to 0 conversion of oxidation state of iodine from minus 1 to 0 that will indicates the oxid uh, oxidation so that chlorine oxidizes potassium iodide into iodine i2 okay if it is nai then what will happen see cl2 same instead of uh, ki you can write nai then you will get two moles of nacl and i2 okay these are the reactions uh, how chlorine um, reacts with uh, NaOH uh, two conditions diluted and concentrated then excess of ammonia after that uh, potassium iodide or uh, sodium iodide uh, I hope you are all understand about this one if you feel it is useful and informative uh, please do subscribe uh, like and share these videos to your known people uh, this question helpful for your uh, IP exams uh, as it is you can write you will get full marks okay thanks for watching we will meet in the next class